We're going to go ahead and take a look at some spinal cord anatomy and nerves on this model. So to start off with, we have lots of spinal nerves coming out from between the vertebrae. So up here, we can see the cervical spinal nerves. Through here, we can see the thoracic spinal nerves. And down here, we can see lumbar spinal nerves. So if I were to ask you one of these, all you would have to say is cervical spinal nerve, or thoracic spinal nerve, or lumbar spinal nerve. You don't have to be specific with a letter and a number. And I should mention we also have sacral spinal nerves. Moving on, we have two enlargements. You could see one of those right here. This is the cervical enlargement. Then if we move down here, we have the lumbar enlargement. Next, the spinal cord is going to taper off. And we can see where it tapers off right here. This is called the conus medullaris. And it kind of looks like a cone as it's tapering off too. Below the conus medullaris, you'll notice one single fiber extending down here. This is the filum terminale. Sorry, my pointer is running over it a little bit here, but this center fiber, filum terminale. Then you'll notice all these fibers going across here and it looks like a horse's tail so its name is the cauda equina which means horse's tail. The last anatomy on this model if you look in close here, you could see some gray and you could see this membrane formed right here. This is the dura mater. And it's basically a protective layer around the spinal cord.